Alaska's North Slope is home to some of the largest oil fields in the country. Hundreds of drill sites fan out across the tundra. They're connected via flow lines to a series of larger central processing facilities. Each of these facilities is like a compact, self-contained city. We make our own electricity. We make all of our water from the local lakes. All the trash that we make here, we try and burn. Workers refer to these sites as camps. When we call 911 here, we're just calling ourselves. Camps are responsible for keeping the larger oil field operations running. This is the brain of Alpine, yes. One of us, per shift, signs on as the controller, and you're ultimately responsible for the pipelines and the safety. Camps process the oil and send it on its way, ultimately to the Trans-Alaska Pipeline and Valdez. That kind of shows how much oil is leaving here right now. This number is our total projected production. Camps are particularly busy during winter months when ice roads connect drill sites. During the ice road season, anything that we can't fly in here on the C-130 has to come across that road. So if we need a crane during the summer, we have to bring it across the ice road season. During the peak season in March, Alpine Camp hosts more than 600 workers. Camps also offer housing, dining, and recreation facilities. ConocoPhillips is expanding west into the National Petroleum Reserve, Alaska. New well sites are already under construction and more are planned for the years ahead.